Okay, hi, YouTubers. Uh, this is Keith from New Mexico. Um, I bought me a couple of, I'm going to show you here in a minute, a couple of these 150cc GY6, uh, 150GCs, uh, CC engines. Uh, I like working on these little buggies. They're fun. Um, I like to I like to make them run again when somebody has completely uh, screwed them up. So uh, it's kind of easy to get them because people, I mean, they're easy to work on, but people just don't seem to really know what they're doing when they're trying to repair them. Anyway, so I'm going to go th through some of my diagnostics, some of my testing, um, my electronics, how, how, how to, what to look for when you're looking for problems with the wiring harnesses, how to get spark to the spark plug, how to get it to, to, uh, charge to the battery, how the wires hook up from the battery. It's very simple to get the charging system to work. I mean, uh, the, uh, firing system to fire the plug. So I'm going to turn my camera around. I'm going to go through some of this. I'm going to show you the buggies and go through a little bit on them. They're pretty trashed. But um, I'm going to go through some of my diagnostics on them. And then hopefully this will help some of you guys that aren't so familiar with them go through the diagnostics yourself. It'll make it a little easier for you. So this is the buggies that I have right now. This is the hammerhead. Uh, let's see if it can focus in. Let me clean the lenses a little bit. There we go. So this is the uh, Hammerhead 150. I've pulled the plastic off the jug. Uh, I went through the carburetor and checked it to make sure it wasn't all gummed up and, and just full of crap. And, you know, it was dirty from sitting, um, but it was it was still a good carburetor. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back on there and use it. I cleaned it all up. This is my Trailmaster 150, and I'm currently in the middle of putting new struts on it. I've got some struts ordered for it. It, it, they both need braking systems. The brake, brakes have been completely fried on them. They cut the brake lines, uh, everything like that. Um, I've got this one here situated where I've got it all, the wiring all figured out in, uh, as far as the harness is concerned. And what I'm going to go through on the hammerhead is going to be pretty much what's going on with this one. Um, but I wanted to go through... Uh, the wiring systems on these because uh people think they're more complicated than they are and they're really not uh they're very simple okay so you have your power wire that comes off the battery so you got your positive and your negative green and red that one don't look so red because it's it's old but it's red so they come up here and you've got your Main wire that goes to from your battery that goes to your starter solenoid, and I've got starters. I've got a starter button on this because I've been testing it. And uh, starter button because this starter solenoid's bad, which they normally do go bad from people trying to start them when they go when and and they can't figure out what's wrong with them. And they end up burning up the solenoids. Then you have uh, the the wire that goes to uh, the carburetor from the carburetor this is your choke this is your automatic choke and it's got to be wired into 12 volts somewhere so it doesn't matter it's not a special wire or anything like that it's just got to have power going to it so it can automatically choke your choke it senses it from the carburetor so it's not something that has to be wired in a specific place it can be wired anywhere into the wiring harness as long as you got power going to it and a, and, a, and it grounded okay so you want to look for a plug that's got power going to it and you can always use your test light uh to do that you know and i have a little test light like a simple test light around here i use to test stuff and i usually keep it plugged into the to the uh the uh uh negative of the battery so that I know that everything that I'm I'm doing is is going to have power. First thing I wanted to do is I wanted to check to make sure that I have power running to my positive side of the battery. Okay, so I got power going there, so I know I got power coming here. I got power coming through the fuse. Okay, 
So I've, I've tested all that. You can see that I'm checking power with everything. So, and uh, so now that I know that I have power going through the whole system, okay, there's power going, there's, that means that there's power coming uh, to my, to my, uh, you see? Power. As long as you got power going to that one lead on DCs, because it's going to ground it over here. You're going to get ground over here through your through your CDI. So you got your trigger coming off your uh, off your magneto. Then you got your uh, you got your wire that goes through the CDI and goes over to your coil, and your coil goes over comes over here. Let me put my phone there. This is uh, uh there it is. So this is my negative, and the negative always goes to the black side <laughs> of the coil. I don't know why, but it does. Okay, it just doesn't go green. So the green wire goes to the black side, and then your coil wire goes to the green side of the coil. At that point, you can take a you can take a spark plug and just lay it against your block. Take your starter and check it and see if it's got power. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some stuff down in there. And this is going to be a little hard for me to show because I've got my phone. I got my, I'm recording this, but I'm going to try and put the phone here. We're going to shoot a little starter fluid in there. Okay, try it again. Okay, so now we see that we have power. Uh, and that's all I had to do here. That's all I had to do to get power going to my carburetor, uh, to my engine. And to know that my engine actually runs, okay? So I've got a battery hooked up. I'm gonna go back through this one more time. So you get your power and your negative. They come up. Your negative goes to your block. You have a you have a harness negative um, that goes to the the block. So you got to have both the harness and the and the main negative from your battery going to the block, so that you ground out your harness. All right. And then you got your then you got your choke that goes and it can be to any ground. It can be any ground going to your, uh, I mean, any power source that's got two wires. And you, get, you can check that on when, you, when your thing's running. You can check when, you're, when your buggy's on power. Um, let me find my thing here. Let's see here. We should have power here somewhere. And if I don't, then I'm probably going to have to go find power for this which this doesn't seem to have. Uh, yep. Okay, so this guy, so the only thing I'm gonna have to do with this guy is I'm gonna have to track down and find it, find power, a, a power source for it, because that's definitely not going to work there. Okay, um, this one has a little rectifier here. Uh, I'll go ahead and just replace it with a new one today. The harness is still complete, so I'm not worried about that, but I am going to have to check that. I'm going to have to track down the wire, uh, the, the hot wire for the choke, because these won't run right without that choke hooking up, hooked up without power. Uh, the next thing that I, next thing that you want to do is um, you want to make sure... Now, this one here, the guy has completely screwed up the wiring harness up here to the key switch and the button so i'm gonna have to trace all that out what i've just done right now is just got it running now one of the things i want to explain to you guys um on these particular buggies and i like to use the dc i like to use the dc and not the ac 
CDIs. Um, DCs are bigger. They plug in just like this, the uh, the uh, AC. The d thing about AC is that you have a power and then you have an off switch for the ACs. That kills them. And that one runs off your alternator. The smaller ones here run off your alternator. The bigger ones run off your battery, but as long as your battery, your as long as your charging system is working, it's charging your battery. And I, it's simpler because you only have one wire here. And as long as there's power going to it, well, let's get the thing back here hooked up. Okay. As long as you got power coming to it, it should have power. Uh, I know I'm trying to hold this and keep everything going. So we got power, we got power. And I know we got power coming here because we had it a minute ago. Yeah, there we go. Can you see the power? Okay, so as long as you got power, you don't even need a wire here because this is your ground over here. So you've got your ground. And that's why I like these guys so much. That's why I like the DCs because uh, they're just easier to me. To, I mean, you can hook them up to a, your 12 volt system. And as long as you're hooked up to a 12 volt system, you know, even for just testing purposes to see if your engine's got compression and it's it's going to be able to fire, um, you could just hook it up. You could bypass it temporarily and just bypass it over to your battery, and that'll bring power to your uh, CDI. And is and everything else hooks the same way. You got your ground over here. You got your trigger wire. Then you got your uh, your black and white wire that goes to your uh, coil. Uh, on here you have a you have your power wire and then you have the the wire that goes to your key that shuts it off um, but this does run off of AC but you can also take this the same syst the same coil and it, another thing here is that if you try to hook up a DC coil and run it on an AC system this is uh, this, this is what's going to happen you're gonna blow it up and so Apparently, the guy I bought these buggies from, he had taken the, 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 the CDI off of this one, and he didn't know that this one over here is an AC unit. So, in order to make it a DC unit, is what I did, because all the wiring on this is jacked up just as much. What I did, I've got a DC, got a DC unit on this one. I just cut the wire right here. And then I've reconfigured it uh, to a uh, power source right here. So that um, it fires off of DC. Now it fires off of DC. It's that simple, guys. It's that simple to work. It's that simple to get it to work. Um, it's not rocket science on these guys. And then once you get all that figured out... Um, once you get out, once you figure out how to run it, then you can start, then you could put, then you could take a, uh, you can, you could splice into this, this guy right here. If you really want to keep it simple, that's that wire right there that goes to your CDI and run it up to your key switch. Put a simple key that does off and on and then a button behind it that you can push to start it and you can separate that when you turn the key on you could run a separate power source over over to these two wires that run over to your starter solenoid you can run a separate power source over to these guys this is your starter solenoid so you just run a separate power source over to this with a hot and then a ground that goes back to your back to your harness and you when you push the button as long as your key is in the on position it will turn your starter solenoid from up there on the dash 
So you only need a couple of wires running up there to the dash if you can't figure out all the complicated wire systems. But if you, once you get everything figured out on that, is all you have to do is go through here and there's a couple of wires here, the red wire and, and the, and the, there's a red wire. Some of them have five wires, but you got three wires coming off your, coming off your uh, stator onto your rectifier. And you got a red wire, a green wire, which is your ground. And your red wire is, is what's, what's going to charge your battery. And then you got, some of them have a black wire. Some of them have a, uh, a white wire but this one here is very simple so you got a green wire which is your ground which goes into your harness and the red wire that runs over from there to your battery runs into the wiring harness it actually runs into the hiring harness into your red wires into your red uh, that, that's along with these wires right here it actually runs into this harness this red wire here you can't really see it that clear but it's a red wire if you peel back the tape a little bit, it's a red wire. And this one here actually has uh, two stator wires. This is just a simple, a small little simple stator on this one. And the red wire runs back to charge the battery. And it runs the DC system on this, keeping all the system uh, charged. And you can actually uh, run your charging system off of this simple little, this little uh, rectifier. You got two wires coming in off your stators, two wires coming off, coming into your stator, and two wires coming off your stator, you can see. And the green wire is your ground for your for your 12 volt system, and the red wire is your hot wire for your 12 volt charging system. And then you can run all your lights, and you can run into the harness here anywhere you want, as long as it's on the red and the green. You can run lights on the front of it, lights on the back of it, brake lights, uh, whatever you want to run off of it, you can run off of this system uh, on this little buggy. And that's how simple it is. I hope I've explained this and made it a little simpler. If you have any questions, give me a, uh, send me a message and I'll try and answer your questions. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Give me some likes if you like it.